She served you, Lord, as best as she can. She did her best to serve you. She was only human. Cleanse her, Lord. Forgive her her sins. Take her to your kingdom, Lord. Take her to your kingdom, Lord. Heavenly Father, you raised the mini. You run in fresh with the mini very fast race. Now we know it's because you wanted your daughter to hurry and come and join you. We thank you for her life. We thank you for giving her to us. We thank you for the time she spent in Sarah with us. We thank you for all the watch over those who have come to take to say good work to me. Emily, these are some of the members of the circle of friends who come to say goodbye to you. The station would have been here, but for the restrictions of COVID. But they are your sisters. We love you, but God loves you more. Yes,
people say they are real fond memories. But this was a young lady with whom I had uh, some political links with ourselves. One good thing about her, which I will never ever forget, is that she's a perfectionist and she does not leave anything which does not go to the detail she wants. And she does it herself. We are going to miss her a lot because the experience that she has gathered all these years in the National Assembly, we shall never again have that in my lifetime. And this is what we need in leadership, that people should have such depth in knowledge of the instruments that make the law. This woman had this. So we are really losing uh, the library. And, uh, I just like her because uh, she always carried a smile on her face whenever she was doing things. Even for her own self, she would always come out and do things. What should we do? Tell me, give me a proposal. No, we If you can bring a canopy, you can bring a canopy. can come up to the altar here and offer them. An intention is 2,000 francs. Lady Council, if you have yours, please come up and offer now my daughter here. Thank you. Of the party, a militant who stood by the ideas of the party has been shining in the 
my laws and the leadership options of our national president, excellency president Mobia. And you are assembling people, assembling people to go tirelessly. I used to ask her how many bodies she had because at times she woke up at 2 a.m. organizing an event and in the morning before 5 she is calling me. I knew her as a mother, a mother in the party. I knew her as a kind-hearted person because even before she came up with her foundation, she has been taking care of so many children in her constituency. And at the level of the Tamil OIC, she spent above 21 million when she had the scheme, sponsoring 50 children every year, selected by a team, which is placed by OIC. I knew her like a loving person. She had love for the nation, love for the nation, love for her militants, love for her population. I knew her as a patriotic Cameroonian, extremely patriotic, that was nothing. In fact, I remember at the beginning of this crisis, she took an initiative and met with those who started uh, agitating. She called on other parliamentarians of English speaking and they spoke with them. I knew her above all, above all, as somebody who was God fearing, was very God fearing, and always reminded us that her grandfather was a cataclysm in the You see, this is the kind of woman, somebody who will have to be replaced, somebody that I don't know what to say, but you know, I had it very difficult with all that organizing her funeral because she was the organizer. Where it's just the king. She was nothing, the king tank, everything. We came from behind and filled in the giant space in this room. Her departure, her demise, it leaves us with tears in the eyes. It is with her heart. It will have to be replaced. And you know, such is life. What?
Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The nation was gathered in the Metropolitan Cathedral of Douala to bury the great Christian Cardinal Tumi, an illustrious prince of the Catholic Church and first Cardinal of Cameroon. As we lowered the body of the Cardinal, 
to the earth from which it was made, we were welcomed with the news of the passing into glory of a great daughter of Bonjongo, a political killer of Fako, an illustrious citizen of the Southwest region, and a great patriot of the Cameroonian nation, the Honorable Emilia Monjowa de Faka, and who could not easily be associated with death. And a few days before her death, she was celebrating joyously with her family and friends at her 62nd birthday party. And I just left the burial of Christian Cardinal Tumi and was heading back to Bamenda when I received a call about the sudden illness of Honorable Lifaka. And when I spoke with her, I found that she had difficulties in breathing. And she said to me she was very sick and asked for prayers. I said a prayer with her over the phone and gave her a blessing and assured her that when I reached my destination, I would call again to find out how she was doing. Barely an hour later, the same caller who was with her in the hospital called me again and said, Mommy has gone and I had to decipher the rest for myself. Lord Ifaka had left this world suddenly to return to her creator. It was like a dream. And at the same time, it was a shock. We sincerely pray for the family and friends who have come from far and near, offering their compassionate support. Bless them abundantly and take them back safely to their respective destinations. We pray for the faithful departed, especially the deceased members of the Lifaka family. Peter Gabriel Lifaka, Mama Cecilia Lifaka, Joanne and Jim Lifaka, Richard Malani and Lifaka, Ecos Lifaka. That God may welcome them into his eternal kingdom of light and peace. We channel our petitions to God through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Risen Lord 
as we see.
Our prayers are now ended. We bid our last farewell. There is sadness in departing, but it should fill us with new hope. We'll be reunited in the joy of God's kingdom. Let us comfort one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. And let us now pray for the while in silence. Saints of God, come to her aid. Come to meet her, angels of the Lord. Father, into your hands we commend our sister, Emilia Mondioa Livaka. We are confident that with all who have died in Christ, she will be raised to life on the last day and live with Christ forever. We thank you for all the blessings you gave her in this life to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. And after this Mass, it will become again a single grand staff who will no longer be the cathedral. We thank to the Bishop of Yangwa, his Lordship Bishop Bishop Bartholome, Yaola Hugo, who flew in yesterday from Yangwa, extreme north, to be with us for this celebration. Southwest Province, the SDO of Paco, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the family, I take this opportunity to salute you and thank you for taking time off your daily schedule to join us in paying tribute to an extraordinary woman in the person of Honorable Ifaka Munjua. Members of government, honorable members of government, the governor of the Southwest region, are willing to lose your values and principles to obtain. Sorry, I sent sorry later. The letter I hope she travels with and resides in her heart while she sits at the right hand of the Father. Look, since she passed on to her. Standing here today to give an eulogy for you, one of the things on real is the truth the family and friends you leave behind have to cope with. You have left a void that can never be filled as a transition from life on earth to eternal glory. I want you to know that while the shoes you left behind are too big to fill, they have left their footprints to guide us through life. You instilled in us the values of service, hard work and discipline. You insisted that everything which we wanted to do should be well done. For a woman of exception, the Honorable Emilia Monjoani Farga, for others, she was a mother. While for us, the edict of the Southwest region, her region of origin, she was more than just a woman or mother. Eulogy 
for Honorable Emilia Munjoa Lifaka, Vice President of the College of Advisors of the Circle of Friends of Cameroon, Serac, they say the 22nd of May, 2021. The children, Emily, as we usually called her, filled us with shock. In the night of the 20th of April, 2021, the unbelievable rumor of her death of great value, charismatic, and committed. You will no longer be amongst us, but you will always be fondly remembered by your sisters and friends in whose hearts you shall live forever. In charge of common world in the Ministry of External Relations. Where are you? Dated 12 May 2021. Address His Excellency Felix Mbayo, Minister Delegate in charge of cooperation with the Commonwealth, Minister of External Relations, Yaoundé, Cameroon. It reads, Your Excellency, I was deeply saddened to hear of the recent passing of Honorable Emilia Monjoa Lipaka, Chairperson of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Executive Committee and Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly of the Republic of Cameroon. Honorable Lipaka made pioneering contributions towards Commonwealth cooperation, notably as the first African to be appointed Chairperson of the CTA Executive Committee. Her memory will be honored within the Commonwealth and more widely for impressive leadership of the CPA Executive Committee since her election to that position in November 2017 in Dhaka, Bangladesh, and for her commitment to promoting her Commonwealth values and principles. She demonstrated immense dedication to the work of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. Her passing is a great loss. Your Excellency, the Governor of the Southwest Region, Speaker of the National Assembly, Your Excellencies, Members of Government, Honorable Members of Parliament, the Archbishop of the Member Ecclesiastical Province, the President of the Executive Council of the Southwest Regional Assembly. It is with a heavy heart that I stand here during this solemn funeral ceremony to salute, venerate, and thank departed comrade militants, Honorable Emilia Abundor Ifaka, for a lifetime of service to the CPDM party. I bring this homage to her in my capacity as delegation of the Central Committee, of which she was a close collaborator as head of the FACO permanent divisional delegation to a national party at divisional level. Her firm grip of grassroots politics spanned more than three decades, starting with her million steps in the then Ekona subsection of the FACO section in Munika. To ask one of them to read the message of Jean Quartel, Secretary General of the CPDM, to the director of the commission. The Secretary General of the Central Committee, to the family of Honorable Monjoa Lifaka Emilia in Boya. Dear Sir, it is with deep sorrow that I received the news of the death of your mother, which occurred on Tuesday, 20th April, 2021, at the who was so dear to you and to whom you were so attached, whose love and affection you will henceforth miss. The passing to eternity of 
Madame Monjoa leaves a big vacuum, not only to her native Bojoka village of the Bojongo court area in Boya, but also in the southwest region. The right honorable Kawai Yegenshi Brill, Speaker of the National Assembly of Cameroon. Members of government, the Prime Minister Emirates, Peter Mafani Musonge, in his capacity of the President of National Commission for Promotion of Bilingualism and Multiculturalism, and the head of CPDM, Central Committee Delegation, the governors. The President of the Regional Executive Council of Southwest Region, the Lord Mayor of Boya City, and in our various capacity and all protocol respected. Honorable Emilia Monjoa Lifaka, CPDM member of the National Assembly. Mwake Brass House of Honorable Emilia Mojoa de Fata. I share your soul as well as that of her family. Who was also a loyal and dynamic militant of the Cameroon People's Democratic Movement. Of the National Assembly.
Tirou a face. Tirou a face.